Hey guys, Cube Hamster here, and welcome to a new Redstone video. It has been a relatively long time since I posted something, uh, over a year. Uh, reason being, just wasn't interested in doing anything in Minecraft. Uh, didn't seem to be anything interesting to do. Uh, and the uh, the last thing I, I did was the, the Redstone tank, which was the sort of build up to something that I was trying to do. Um, actually did a little stream on Twitch, if I recall, a year ago. Um, trying to build something, got incredibly stuck on it. I just, like, at that point thought it was impossible. Until uh, Pi, another uh, Redstoner who posts videos on YouTube, I'll put a link in the description to his video, posted a little video about a mechanic that I was completely unaware of, uh, which is that when you place two uh, observer blocks, I don't know why I grabbed that because I already had that, when you place two observer blocks like this, it functions like a clock. I'm assuming that probably a lot of people know about that. I did not, and especially not a year ago, uh, when observers were already out as well. Um, but that turned out to be the missing component for the, th for the thing that I was trying so desperately to make in my, in my last uh, Twitch stream, uh, which is this thing, um, which as you can see is a, uh, like a feed tape. It has one observer block because uh, I want to get a signal out of it. Now, uh, one of the videos I released before uh, going on my hiatus was uh, a TNT missile that flies like 150 blocks and then just explodes by itself. Um, and that essentially had a feed tape that moved while moving, um, where this thing here is a feed tape that doesn't move while it's moving, but actually activates once you stop the machine. And both of those together, combined, uh, allow for some very interesting things, because the thing that I always wanted to do with the redstone robots is not have them be manned, but to actually have a way of sort of programming them to do things after having moved a couple blocks. Uh, like for instance, I would love the idea of a robot that just walks a hundred blocks, then stops, then fires a, a shit ton of TNT from cannons, uh, and then after, you know, massive destruction, just starts itself up again automatically, and then continues walking. Something like that. And uh, this is the, this is my first working prototype of a, a moving feed tape that, or a moving, yeah, yeah, moving feed tape that activates once, once it stops and doesn't move while it's moving. And uh, you see the little uh, observer block moving around there going to the, the glowstone or the, the lamp. And that's just to indicate like there's multiple ways I could get a signal from this. I could technically also uh, mess up my machine a little bit. Um, but I could also have an observer block facing upwards uh, to also get a, a signal from this. And uh, this will be used to trigger some, uh, some piston mechanic here. Ideally, I think the next step for me is to, to make a machine that stops and then starts by itself and then stops and then starts by combining the two designs. And then we'll, we'll see where it goes from there. Uh, like there's more components needed to actually like get really deep into things. Probably need some sort of movable binary counter and I already know that uh, Peter, Peter Zhang already made one a while back, so I have to look into that. But yeah, this is kind of the, the, the first step to uh, a fully automated autom automatron, a robot. And I think it's really cool. And it was it was stupidly hard to do this. Like I I have extremely weird piston setups and I needed I needed these clocks you see here to stop moving or to stop doing stuff while it was moving. 
It's just uh, it was kind of a super pain. This is the I basically had to start from scratch four times, but uh, eventually we got it to work. Also, I have these weird like <laughs> just getting a feed tape to, to to work reliably when once you stop it, it was also a pain in the ass. But like it works. Um, if you're interested in this design, I will post a. Uh, little download link in the description and uh, yeah first video in a year feels pretty weird but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, if you're new to my channel hi I'm cube hamster nice to meet you and uh, if you're like oh I was subscribed to this guy but I don't play Minecraft anymore understandable man understandable it's fine so uh, so yeah Thanks for watching, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you in uh, the next video, which will uh, probably be somewhere next week, maybe sooner, depending on uh, how things go. Hey, bye-bye.